Making believable animations requires those curves and keyframes to be flawless, and that's not an easy task to do, but you can definitely make the process of reaching that level of perfection in your curves and keyframes easier, and that's by using tools that allow you to solve some problems and reduce the time spent on some processes, and one of these tools is the GraphKit add-on. And Blast Frames GraphKit add-on is an essential tool for animating in Blender. With 10 powerful features saving you load of steps, it is guaranteed to become an, an integral part of your animation workflow. The features that it provides are Amplify, a feature for adjusting the intensity of your animation, Distribute, a command for creating even timing between keyframes, Fade, for fading in and out animations using standard ease functions, flatten holds, which flatten just the hold keyframes in an F curve, overlap, which overlaps your F curves without needing to extend their length, perfect loop, which match your loop start and end frames perfectly, randomize, which is a polishing tool for giving organic randomness to animation loops, range to loop, which sets your scene preview and or frame range to multiple of your loop's length for seamless playback, repeat for looping entire f-curves or selected keyframes simultaneously, tween, which is a simple easy to use slider for creating anticipation, breakdowns and overshots. So if you like the features that the add-on provides, make sure to check the link below to get it. And it's also important to note that the add-on is a part of the Ultimate Animators add-on bundle that provides more value and lets you save up to 20%. The bundle also comes with Delete Static Channels add-on, so oftentimes importing motion capture or blocking a character animation will generate f-curve channels that do nothing. They may just have one keyframe or maybe multiple keyframes with no change in value. And here comes the role of delete static channels, which allow you to get rid of the specific f-curves you want with a click of a button. There is also key selected objects add-on. Now animating multiple objects in Blender is really intuitive and difficult. It currently requires keyboard shortcuts and even then, keyframing properties that, that aren't in the ready-made keying sets is very confusing. So key selected objects makes things a lot more obvious and intuitive. Simply select the object you want to animate, right click the property and choose keyframe all selected objects. You can also keyframe all multi-dimensional properties in a group and it also works with materials that have matching surface shaders. There is also keys add-on, so editing multiple things at once can be difficult in the graph editor. You can't see or modify any contextual menus when you box select keyframes, so keys solves that and let you box select your keyframes and edit them in the user interface. And lastly you have copy timing and ease add-on. So in the past you would have to create the new f-curve, try to recreate the timing and then adjust the handles for each keyframe. Now copy timing and ease does that in a couple of clicks. Now if you want to check out this add-on, link is in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.